Today we're going to continue our lesson on factoring expressions. This is 3.5 in your textbook um, on page 164. So follow along in the book with me. Today we're going to be factoring negatives. So what would you do to factor these two expressions? Well, yesterday we learned we have to find the greatest common factor and then factor that GCF out of all the terms. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to factor that GCF out of each term that's in the expression. So today, find the greatest common factor. As I look at number 1, I see negative 4x, negative 2. Both of them have a 2 in common but they also both have a negative in common. So I'm going to factor out negative 2 out of each of those. Now watch our signs now. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 gives me a positive 2x. Bring along the x. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. The parentheses around. Pull my factor that I pulled out in common out in front of that parentheses. So the factored form of negative 4x negative 2 is negative 2 times the quantity 2x plus 1. So again, I can check to be sure that I have it factored correctly. First of all, to see does 2x and 1, what's in my parentheses, cannot have anything in common. 2x and 1 do not have any other factors in common. So that part I know is factored correctly. Did I also do it correctly? The other way I can check is to expand this, multiply, do the distributive property. Negative 2 times 2x, negative 4x. Negative 2 times positive 1, negative 2. Did I get back to my original expression? Yes. Number 2, negative 14y minus 21, or negative 14y, negative 21. They both have a negative. They both also have a 7 in common. So I'm going to divide both terms by negative 7. I'm going to factor it out, dividing it out. So negative 14 divided by negative 7 is positive 2 y's. Negative 21 divided by negative 7 is positive 3. Close that in my parentheses. Put my common factor of negative 7 out front. Negative 7 times 2y's is negative 14y's, doing my little check. Negative 7 times positive 3 is negative 21. And 2y and 3 have no common factors. So I know that I've factored negative 14y, negative 21 correctly into the product. Negative 7 times the quantity 2y plus 3. A few more for us to try. Negative 36g and negative 12h. They both have a negative in common, and they also have 12 in common. So negative 12, I'm going to pull out of both of those. Negative 36 divided by negative 12 is positive 3g. And negative 12h divided by negative 12, so negative 12 divided by negative 12, any number divided by itself is 1, and that is positive 1h. Do I have to put the one there? No, so I don't have to put the one there. I could say 1h or I can just say h. And close that in a parentheses, put my common factor out front. So my answer is negative 12 times the quantity 3g plus h. Negative 4a minus a. They both have a negative in common. They also have 4 in common. Say I didn't see that. Say I only saw that they had a 2 in common, and I pulled out a negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2, negative 4 divided by negative 2 would give me 2 a's. And 8, negative 8 divided by negative 2 would give me positive 4. Now, inside this parenthesis, 2a and 4 still have a 2 in common. So I know I have not factored that completely. So negative 2 is not the greatest common factor, which I know. I really have to divide by negative 4 so that I leave nothing in common when I have the parentheses. So negative 4a divided by negative 4 is positive 1, so I have 1a or a. 
negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2. I close that in my parentheses, put my common factor out front. A and positive 2 have nothing in common. And yes, negative 4 times A, negative 4A, negative 4 times positive 2, negative 8. So I do get back to my original expression. You should check all of them. I didn't check number 3. But we could come back and do that. Negative 12 times positive 3 is negative 36 g's, and negative 12 times positive h is negative 12 h. Good idea to check your work. Um, number 5, negative 2x and negative 3. Ooh, this is a unique one. 2 and 3 don't have any factor in common besides 1, but they both have a negative in common. So, yes, I'm going to factor out the negative 1 that's in each of these. 2 and 3 have a 1 in common. That's it. Normally, we would not factor out just a 1. But since it's a negative 1, we do have to factor that out. Each term does have a negative in common. So I'm going to factor out that negative and put it down here as a negative 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is 2x positive 2. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3. Now 2 and 3 don't have any factors in common besides 1, so that's fine. I'm going to pull out that negative 1, and I could just leave it as a negative symbol or put it as negative 1. When the two numbers have just a negative in common, you're going to pull it out as a negative 1. This is a unique question. When they only have a negative in common, Pulling out that negative, it's like making them their opposite inside the parentheses. It was a negative 2x minus 3, now it's positive 2x plus 3 inside the parentheses times negative 1. To check this, negative 1 times 2x, negative 2x. Negative 1 times positive 3, I get negative 3. So I do get back to my original expression. They do have a negative 1 in common. It's unique. What I would like you to do is to copy down these three examples, 6, 7, and 8, and try to factor those on your own. Pause the video for a moment, and then I'll come back and give you the answers to these in factored form. I'm not going to show you all the work. I'm going to just give you the answers. So pause the video now. Okay, we're back. Um, in number six, hopefully you saw that the only thing they had in common was a negative one. So when you pull that out, you get five u's plus three. If you didn't get that answer, star this one or circle it and ask me in class. Number seven, you should have pulled out a negative three that they have in common. And when you factor out that negative three, you get f plus two. If you don't have that, again, circle it or star it, and we'll go over that in class. Negative 3 times the quantity f plus 2. Number 8, they have a negative 2 in common. So negative 2 gets factored out, and you get 4p's plus 5q's. And again, if you don't have that one, star it or circle it, because yes, you should have shown that you were dividing each of these by negative 2, to get positive 4p's and positive 5q's, pull that negative 2 out front. So I wanted you to try those on your own. Ask in class tomorrow if you didn't get those answers. Last two, number 9 and 10, please copy these. Um, do you remember trying a trinomial yesterday? Well, we're going to try a trinomial today. Now, I look across number 9, and I do see that 8, 4, and 32 have a 4 in common. But I also want to see Oh, are they all negative 4 in common? And no, they are not all negative 4. That's a positive 8x and a positive 32. They don't all have a negative sign out in front of them. If they were all negative, I would pull out a negative 4. But they, are, they only have just a 4 in common. So factoring this trinomial by 4, I'm going to get 8x divided by 4, or 8 fourths is 2x. Negative 4 divided by positive 4 is going to give me negative 1y. I can show a 1 or not, negative y. Positive 32 divided by 4, I'm going to get positive 8z's. Put that in my parentheses. 
and pull my factor of four that's common to all of them out front. And again, you can check four times two x, eight x. Four times negative y, negative four y. Four times eight z's, 32 z's. Let's try number 10, last one. 24c, 36d, and negative four. They're not all negative, so it's not negative four that they have in common. But again, they do all have a four in common. So I'm gonna pull out that common factor of four. And I see that I'm gonna get uh, 24 divided by four is six c's. 36 d's divided by four is nine d's. And negative four divided by positive four is negative one. Close that in parentheses. Take your common factor, place it out front and you have the resulting factored form as four times the quantity six C plus nine D minus one. That's it for today and uh, we'll come to class and we'll practicing factoring out negatives and factoring trinomials.